The term global shutter has been thrown around a lot lately since Sony dropped the A93 a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, I remember that. I can't even count the number of times that people have asked what global shutter is and what is the big deal. So in today's video, I'm going to address that very question right there. But to do that, we need to evaluate how a global shutter works in comparison to a rolling shutter, which is pretty much what is used in the vast majority of today's camera systems that are out on the market. Now, as you might have guessed, a rolling shutter is read by the camera on a rolling basis, one line at a time from top to the bottom of the sensor. So to illustrate this, we're gonna use my, my son's toy here. So again, a rolling shutter, it's, it's gonna read one line. Imagine this is your, your camera sensor right here. It's gonna read one line at a time, starting from the very top, it's going to read, one line, one row at a time until it reaches all the way down to the bottom. Now, obviously it's doing much faster than what I'm doing. Actually from zero to, by the time it gets down to the bottom is usually a handful of milliseconds, if that. Now on the other hand, a global shutter reads the entire sensor all at once. Okay, again, using this as an illustration here, let's see, well, that worked better in my head. Okay, you get the point. All of this is read at one go there. But the difference between the two types of sensor readouts doesn't stop here. Since a global shutter reads the whole sensor simultaneously, it also eliminates things like wear and tear of moving shutter, banning from different uh, light sources and photo and video distortion that you get with a, with a typical rolling shutter. You can see the difference in distortion produced by these sensors in this video from Sony. Now, Global Shutter offers a buttload of benefits as well. So for example, you can use flash sync at any shutter speed for still imagery, which is not possible with a camera with a rolling shutter. No, it's not. Even the fastest mechanical shutters can't open and close quick enough to capture the light from a flash on a whole image. Now, if you played around with your flash, you might have inadvertently seen what actually takes place here. Have you ever taken a, a photograph and half your images is, is a black line and the rest of it is all exposed? Yeah, that's what's happening here. So that's what this is all about. A global shutter solves this problem though, and this means that you can use strobes on full power in single flash mode, rather than trying to extend how long the flash is illuminated. Likewise, a global shutter doesn't cause blackout in the viewfinder, which is a problem with rolling shutters. Now, rolling shutters are also advantageous in low light situations because they can, you yeah, think about it, they can capture distortion-free photos at faster shutter speeds without relying on a high ISO. That's what I'm talking about. Now, in addition to low light situations, global shutters are ideal for sports, wildlife, and you know, pretty much any types of action photography because of the ability to freeze motion without distortion. Now, studio photography also benefits from global shutters as well because the accurate flash synchronization I mentioned a moment ago. I see what you mean. So the big question here is, why don't more cameras feature a global shutter if it is that much better? Sounds expensive. Yeah. Pretty much that because it, it costs more. However, as photography technology advances and global shutters really find their way into more and more cameras, you know, the cost of these things for producing these the global shutters is it's gonna drop sooner or later, making this technology much more affordable to implement. So you know, they just we have to wait for that point to arrive. And boom, just like that, folks, uh, a very quick and uh, yeah, a basic explanation of global shutter. Now, I hope this helps clarify what exactly uh, Global Shutter is and why it's so advantageous for photography and videography. And hey, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, you know, look, if you found some value with this video, uh, hey, before you go jumping off here, crush that like button. And friends, I will see you, hey, during the next video.